motivation. <laughs> so motivation is the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. That is the official definition. Um, in my personal definition, I would say motivation is more like a tease. So I have, I have two problems with motivation. One is that it is super easy to get motivated. And the second is motivation by itself is extremely short-lived. And before we begin talking about how I perceive motivation, uh, let's start by breaking motivation down. So there's two types of motivation, right? There's intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is personally rewarding. It's engaging in a behavior that is of value to you personally. Uh, for example, it could be learning for the sake of learning and not for grades, um, cooking for your parents, or <laughs> talking about your thoughts on the internet. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation utilizes rewards and punishments. Uh, for example, being paid to do someone's homework. You know, I won't say that one type of motivation is better than the other. Uh, depending on the situation, I think each have their benefits and risks. Regardless, to bring about change in your life, one needs to be motivated first and foremost. Um, but let's talk about the short-lived, short-lived nature of motivation. So I'm a believer that motivation has to be transitioned into discipline to lengthen its life. And it's really easy to be stuck with minimal motivation that kind of convinces you to settle and not do anything about it. In some cases, you begin to categorize yourself being better than average for simply having the motivation to do something without actually acting on it. Um, for example, uh, I, think, I think the example could be seen like around everyone our age. You know, we always think to ourselves that we need to do more and we need to be better. And I've had, I've had these sort of talks with way too many people. So, and the pattern is always there. And by the definition of motivation, they are motivated, but that's it. You know, everything stops there. You know, they talk about doing more, but never commit to it, or they want to succeed without putting in effort. And I know, and I know that this is what's going on because it happened to me too. I, I know the phenomenon, uh, but you know, I'm not a professional, you know, I don't know what goes on like psychologically, but what I can what I know and what I can do is that I can talk about my own experiences and analyze my own thoughts and my perception. I know from my experience that I've been motivated countless times, but I think only when I came to college, I was able to transition motivation from motivation to discipline. You know, in, in high school, I didn't have dreams or ambitions. You know, well, I, I did, I did have dreams and ambitions, but I never, I never thought to myself that high school was the place for me to begin my path towards, you know, achieving my dreams and ambitions. You know, in high school, during high school, with all the college related chatter about, you know, who's applying where and who has spectacular extracurriculars or crazy GPA and SAT scores, with all that noise going around, you kind of, you kind of get a sense of where you are on the, the star student spectrum, you know, and I had I had good grades, you know, I had near perfect grades actually, which <laughs> which was always a surprise to many. But I think the most important part and the most regrettable part was that I was content with that, you know, I was above average and I was pretty aware of it. At the time, I feel like my prime motivation was just to be better than those around me, you know my fellow high school students, you know, just to be better than average. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I thought I would get in Ivy League schools, <laughs> which, in, which in hindsight was a dumb opinion, considering I was way below the standards of getting accepted into those kinds of institutions. And when I came to college, that changed. And I started shifting my focus from being better than people around me to being better than myself. You know, because... And yes, I had a thinking session about it. And honestly, there's no end to comparing yourself to other people. You know, there's always going to be someone smarter than you, you know, someone wiser, and someone doing better in life, someone better looking. And in the end, you know, the only comparison that really means something to you is to just be better than who you were yesterday. And that's the thought I started to have. And it really was a shift in motivation. And it was one I could transition into discipline. 
So to, to explain myself a bit, you know, when you're comparing yourself to something else, a person or a group, it, it feels like a one-time achievement. You know? so, so what if you're better? What's next? You either find someone new to compare yourself to or stay content where you are. You know, there, with, with the mindset of comparing yourself to other people and being better than them, there's little reason to invest effort into my life when I was already at a place I wanted to be. On the other hand, having myself as my own competitor was like, it was like an endless race. You know, if I beat myself one day, I have to do it the next and the next and the next. You know, it, I, guess, I guess it sounds tiring, but it was definitely something I needed. You know, I spent around 19 years of my life being lazy and putting in minimum effort all the while expecting maximum results, right? And now I'm tasked with the challenge of beating myself. And that made every day a challenge and it made every day exciting and worth pursuing. With that in mind, uh, <laughs> I think a lot of things became easier. You know, studying for one became less you know, tiring on the mind. Actually, actually, I think I slowly began to enjoy studying. Because one day I had the realization that you're actually never bored when you study. You know, the feeling of boredom and the feeling you get when you're studying is vastly different. You just think about it. Anyways, every day I strive to be better than who I was yesterday or I, try, I continue to do so. Um, but, you know, improving from who you were yesterday doesn't have to be a huge thing. You know, it might mean exercising for 10 more minutes or reviewing your notes one more time. Yeah, the improvements may have been small, but I improved every day. And I am confident enough to state that. You know, some days I'll feel lazy, but I learned that it's the times you really struggle through that brings you the best results, the biggest improvements in your character. There's two lessons I learned from this. You know, one is be motivated by the right things. If I stuck to being above average, you know, I don't think I'll be enjoying life as much as I am right now. You know, life wouldn't be fun at all, I think. Um, two, always transition motivation into discipline. You, know, you might be motivated for the right reasons, but it really doesn't mean anything if you don't do anything about it. You know, if you, so if you have a goal in life right now, work towards it. There's really, there's, there's really no excuse not to work towards your goal. You know, re like really try to think of a legitimate excuse for you to put a hold on chasing your dreams. You know, I've, I've tried doing this actually, and I know there aren't any because I've tried. You know, there's always something you can do like right now. You know, however small that step may be, you'll still be a step further from where you were yesterday. So, if you thought about starting something or becoming someone, you need to go ahead and try. You know, you need to be motivated, yes, but you also need to do something about that motivation. You know, being motivated is like an opportunity to invite change into your life. And that's good. But you have to remember that the changes you want to make can only be made by you. And chances are, you know, it's not going to be easy. And I know from my experience that motivation by itself isn't going to get you there but discipline will. Um, if you want to continue to hear what I have to say, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really hate recording this part.